from the 2007 <laughs> Joe Stapleton and Amanda Leatherman tonight on Poker Wire. Welcome to Poker Wired. I'm your host, Joe Stapleton. And I'm your other host, Amanda Leatherman. Due to continued media regulations, we still can't film at the Rio. However, we are coming to you from poker superstar's house, Eric Dog. Who? E-Dog. Eric Dog, the professional poker player. No, his, his name's Eric Lindgren. His nickname's E-Dog. Are you sure? Eric Dog. Are you positive? Yeah, pretty sure. It's embarrassing. We can edit that, right? At the World Series of Poker, it's not unusual for chips and registration tickets to go missing. But it's not every day that a player disappears. That's what happened to Vinny Vin. Vinny Vin finished day one of the $1,000 rebuy event second in chips. He did not show up to day two. He still managed to finish 20th place after being blinded off the entire day. For several days after the event, he was still unaccounted for. But both players and fans alike were greatly relieved when he showed up alive and well. You know who was most greatly relieved? Everyone he owes money to. A poker player owing people money? He owes me a dime. A thousand bucks? A thousand dollars? God, no. You know who else gave the poker community a scare this week? Paul Eskimo Clark passed out in the middle of an event. Yeah, he passed out actually in the WSOP spillover area. The poker pavilion is located outside. Sometimes the temperatures can reach up to 90 degrees. But I don't think it's that hot. Look at this picture I took. Nice job, Eskimo. Maybe you wouldn't pass out if you didn't wear that damn parka everywhere. Or as his people call it, Inaganook. He doesn't really wear a parka, you idiot. Do you really think he's an Eskimo? Yes. What are you gonna tell me next, that Chris Jesus Ferguson can't walk on water? You know, this isn't the first time Eskimo scared people. Oh, really? Check this out. The final table of the ladies' event was featured as one of the sequestrium events. The Bluff Sequestrium is Bluff's attempt at having live final table coverage via internet. The players are sequestered in order to preserve the integrity of the game. A subscription typically costs 50 bucks. Unfortunately, anyone who used the search term that day of webcam, multiple chicks, ramming and jamming was met with the most disappointing search results in Google's history. At least it was free. In other World Series of Poker News, Alan Cunningham won his fifth bracelet in the $5,000 pot limit hold'em event. The victory made Cunningham only the fifth player to win a bracelet in three consecutive years. After the win, he promised to stay focused and humble, saying money wouldn't change him a bit. Nice grill, Alan. Another player making tournament history was Phil Helmuth when he won his record-breaking 11th bracelet in the 1500 No Limit event. And in his victory interview, Phil still went into a typical tirade of, if it weren't for luck, I'd win every... Whoops. He won this one. And finally, Kevin Smith, Hollywood director, famous for directing such movies as Clerks, Chasing Amy, Clerks 2. He was spotted at several World Series of Poker events this week, and he's also using the experience to help him with his newest project. Titled Poker the Movie, Smith's new film is about a bizarre love triangle about a quirky guy, a quirky girl roommate, and a quirky bisexual poker dealer. We here at Poker Wired have been lucky enough to get our hands on a cast list, an early cast list. We're going to tell you who's in the movie. Amanda. How did you get your hands on that cast list anyway? I have my ways. I bet you do, Lady Chatterley. Some of the actors portraying real life poker players include Tim Curry as Andy Black. We've also got the Punisher's Thomas Jane playing a favorite of mine, Greg F.E.T. Mueller. Look at those guys, I can't decide who's more handsome. Richard Dreyfus as your boy, Burt Booten. Our own lead tournament reporter, Jeremiah Smith as 11 time bracelet winner, Phil Helmuth Jr. And playing the role of Shannon Elizabeth, Shannon Elizabeth. Ooh, uh-uh, she didn't, she didn't get it. Why? Uh, Kevin Smith says she wasn't believable enough. But you know who he did get? Academy Award winner Dame Judi Dench. And professional poker player Umberto Brennis will be played by none other than Super Mario. I'm a Umberto! I'm a gonna win! Yeah! Well, that's all the time we have for Poker Wired. We'll see you next week. For Amanda Leatherman, this is Joe Stapleton saying, we're all... Up.